Kia ora all, welcome to Mr. Quiz. Uh, today we are doing something which is a little bit ambitious, I would say. Uh, we're going to be playing random geography quizzes until we get uh, one where we fall below the average. Um, so this could be a very short video or it could be a very long video. Um, I guess we'll find out. A uh, shout out, by the way, to Geography Challenges, who's one of the best uh, GeoGuessr content creators on YouTube. Um, he came up with this idea and he did play it while I was on my hiatus and it stuck in the back of my mind and I thought, okay, this is something I want to do. Uh, we don't know what the average is beforehand, so we just have to try our best. There may be some quizzes where I have to put this on double time um, <laughs> while I uh, get through them. But let's see how we get on. Okay, so we have, first of all, 7 to 1 letter P. Okay, this should be simple enough, I would say. Uh, so countries are Paraguay, Philippines, Pakistan, Peru, Poland. Should be two more. Panama and Palestine. Capital cities will have Podgorica, Port of Spain, Praia, uh, Phnom Penh, and Paramaribo, and one more. Huh? Which one did I miss? Palakia. Perfect. Non capital cities. Uh, Pencil. Oh no, it's a state. Okay, it should be fine. I don't think I'm going to fall below the average here. Earth, Port Harcourt, Porto Alegre. At least it wasn't a minefield. Uh, let's. Islands. Uh, what are islands here? Okay, there's one more city that's Philly. Uh, islands. Ooh. Pune was the other capital, by the way, or the other non city. I need to be a little bit careful here because I've already dropped one US state, so it's Pennsylvania. Um, Prince of Wales should be an island, right? Yeah. Uh, is Palawan an island? It sounds familiar. Okay, so there's two more islands, three mountains, and two lakes. So, law of averages says we should go with the mountains. This sounds like it could be a mountain, like in Nepal or somewhere. Uh, now there's two left of each. Uh, okay, that was a mountain. That was lucky. Uh, let's try some lakes. Uh, a lake. Apus? Okay. Prince Patrick, could that be an island? It is. Perfect. So, we've got one mountain and one lake. No. Uh, one of each, okay. Um, island, let's go with Poyang. No, mountain Poyang. Has to be a lake then, okay. So the average was 64, we got 89%. That's fine. Uh, no sense in uh, hanging around. Nine London landmarks in um, 30 seconds, okay. Um, right, so the Gherkin is here. Tower of London is... Where's the Tower of London? Here it is. Trafalgar Square, Buckingham Palace. St. Paul's Cathedral, Tower Bridge, Shard, London Eye, and Elizabeth Tower. Perfect. The average there was 86, so we needed to get, um, well, pretty much needed to get a perfect score. But that's fine. We move on. That is two now, I believe. Four letter state matchup. Can you match the letters to make a four letter state? Sure. 15 seconds, and we've got three. So I'm not going to spend too much time thinking. Uh, Iowa. Utah and Ohio. Oh, uh, 100%. The average score was 87. Those ones which are short on time are going to be the trickiest ones, I think. That's three now. Also, minefields. Uh, missing countries. Can you identify the countries that are missing from the map? Sure. Uh, so I guess those are the ones that are in blue. So we'll have Mongolia. Uh, that's going to be Turkmenistan. Uh, which else is missing? Nepal is missing. Pakistan is missing. South Korea is missing. So these are quizzes I would never normally play on um, on this channel, just because like it's just naming countries basically, and it's a little bit boring. I mean, there's so many quizzes on Sporkle which are just named countries after named countries. Um, Vietnam is missing, and what's the last one? There's probably enough to beat the average already, I would say, but just to be on the safe side. UAE is also missing. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So we move on. Meat geography. Can you name the countries that export the most of each animal product? Okay. Then we have fun ones like this, which are actually fun quizzes, but um, I would never normally play them because they're just too short. So three minutes, and we're looking for beef, butter, cheese, crustaceans, eggs, feathers, etc. So with these ones, we'll start with the big countries. Try and knock as many out as we can. Brazil is quite a big exporter of meat. Mexico, no, that's surprising. 
Turkey, Pakistan, uh, Iran, Thailand. Okay, right, let's try some European countries then. We'll try Vietnam first. Yep, all crustaceans and mollusks. So Germany, France, Spain, Italy, Portugal, Portugal, Ukraine, Poland, Sweden. No, no Sweden. Finland, Denmark. Hey, Denmark is way up there. Uh, Canada, New Zealand for sheep, maybe. Okay, lots. Um, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand. We said Thailand, didn't we? We said Vietnam. Um, Burma, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Algeria. Okay, we're slowing down a little bit now, but that's fine. Uh, South Africa could be there. Excellent. What about like some um, here, Hungary, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria. Okay, maybe let's have a look at some of these. So butter. Well, Argentina could be here for a few, right? Excellent. Honey, huh? Colombia, Peru, Chile. No. Mutton, live poultry, wool, milk, and cream. So a lot of these countries should be similar. Pearls. Morocco was for mollusks. Okay. Uh, South Korea. Oh, I haven't put Japan in yet, have I either? Japan, Taiwan. Oh, did I try Philippines? Yes, Philippines is there. Excellent. Uh, what about Bangladesh? It's a fairly large populated country. Um, Israel? UAE was there for pearls. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, am I missing like a big country, right? Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands was there. Excellent. That really filled up the board. Belgium as well. There's only six countries left. So butter, crustaceans, leather, mutton, and wool. Switzerland is a guess. Austria is a country. I tried Italy, right? Greece. Okay, uh, this should be enough to get me over the line, I'm fairly certain. No stress here. Ecuador. Ecuador is there for crustaceans. Fantastic. Venezuela. Right, Bolivia. Right, Uruguay is there for wool. Yep, that makes sense. So we're missing mutton, butter. Okay, so it was Ireland, Ireland, and Ireland. Okay, pretty good. The average was 76, so um, we were well above the average there. We keep going. B capitals by length. Two minutes. Naming a world capital that starts with B for each possible length of the capital name. So one thing as well, I'm not allowing myself any thinking time before I start. So, okay, so two capitals start with B and have uh, four letters. Oh, let's just start naming some um, B capitals, I'd say. Bigger one. Um, Bujumbura. Bujumbura. Oh no, it changed, right? To Katega. Whoops. Um, oh, that's really throwing me. Uh, Baghdad. Uh, Brussels. Did I have Brussels already? No. Nope. Uh, Brazzaville. Well, cool. now a lot of the B capitals will already be out. So I'm looking for one which is four letters. Uh, should be easy enough to get. Um, Burn. Yep, perfect. Burn and Maku. And there's four more capitals. One with nine letters and one with ten letters. Uh, right. I think I'm probably already above the average, but I just need to try and, um, eke out one more. The Mako we got already, right? Yeah. Uh, Winner Series? It's already there. Um, Bridgetown, perhaps. Yeah, perfect. That should be fine. Uh, I'm going to gamble and say, yeah, well above the average there. Bucharest was the other one. Need to keep this video moving. Okay, countries by formal flags. This should be fun. I wonder what the first one's going to be. Not super familiar with this flag, actually. But we do get the um, countries and the times here as well. So this will be Brazil. Uh, North America, this is USA. Uh, Asia, I think this is the old Iraqi flag. Is 
This is the old flag of Malawi. Only was in place for two years and then went back to the old one. This is Libya. Great green. This is the old flag of Afghanistan. Always changing their flag. I think this is Bulgaria. Well, they dropped the coat of arms. Oh, this one's interesting. 1821 only. So maybe like Haiti or Mexico. Yeah, perfect. Just after the Mexican independence, I guess. I think this is the old Macedonian flag. Uh, Africa, 1961. Ooh. It's Italian, so it could be like Djibouti, Somalia. No, we'll come back to that. We don't need to get 100% anyway. Okay, this is Cambodia, I think. Excellent. That's the old flag of South Africa, but we'll skip past that as quickly as we can. This is the old Greek flag before they made it cooler. Uh, I believe it was China. Uh, 1895 to 1946, okay. That has to be a country which was independent in that time as well. Or at least had enough autonomy to be, um, have a flag. This is the old flag of, no, they're not going to accept Siam, but it's the old flag of Thailand. It used to be called Siam at the time. I think this is the old Portuguese flag. No, maybe France then? Yeah, it actually makes sense before the tricolor came into play. This looks like the Venezuelan flag, so let's go with that. Uh, that's the old flag of Canada, before they introduced the maple leaf. Wow, that's an awesome flag. Although, maybe not suited to be a national flag. South America, so... There's not too many places it could be, like Ecuador. Uru. Maybe like Guyana or Suriname, maybe. Yeah, perfect. Uh, this is the old flag of Romania, I believe. And this has a bird of, or a crane on it, so it should be Uganda. This is Haiti. Uh, ooh, this looks like the Gavanese flag, but I guess it's not. Um, don't know what that one is. South America, this could be Peru, possibly, based on the color scheme. Excellent, that's the old Mozambique flag, kind of similar to the new one, actually. Rwanda, uh, this is the old Portuguese flag, this might be India, yeah, <laughs> awesome, um, familiar, Philippines maybe, yeah, cool, ooh, I've seen this one before, is this Benin, yeah, and another African one, gosh, this is from the 16th to the 17th century, though, so maybe Morocco, yeah. Uh, this is Hungary, I guess. Uh, Mongolia, I suppose. Uh, this is the old Iranian flag. Africa again. This could be like Algeria or. No, this is Egypt, I think, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. Uh, South America, well, there's only a few countries this could be. Um, this is from just after independence, so we've already had Venezuela, so Colombia, Ecuador, Bolivia, Chile. Hey, okay, great. Um, and that should be enough, I'd say. A um, couple of African ones, which we could try, but I'm fairly certain this is going to be better than the average. Yeah, the average was 48. This was Burundi, Malaysia. And this was Sudan. Okay, I would have got all of those had I had enough time or had I sat here and typed down all the countries, but not going to do that. Okay, the US by any two letters. Can you name the US states by any two letter sequence? We've got one minute and we've got 50 uh, to get. So the average here is probably going to be like 35, I would say. So let's get into it. Okay, uh, Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas. Well, let's go around in my head. So Alaska, Hawaii, California, Washington, Oregon, Nevada. New Mexico, uh, Arizona, Montana, Idaho, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Utah, Texas, Colorado, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Missouri, Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, Florida, Georgia. I might be missing some, by the way, but... um. 
just trying to go as quickly as I can. Delaware, New York, New Jersey, uh, West Virginia, Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Vermont, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. Okay, I'm missing two. What could they be? Pennsylvania, maybe? And oh, what's the last one? They're not in alphabetical order. This will be enough anyway. Just Louisiana. Okay, that's fine. We move on. Oh, 200 most popular cities of the world by metro area. Well, see, this is the one I could be kind of nice to know what the average is beforehand. But I don't know what the average is beforehand. So didn't we do this as one of my first ever videos? Okay, well, this one is going to be sped up. So um, I'll see you in 20 minutes, I guess. Um, uh, Right, so I'm back, uh, just for a catch up on 73 out of 200. I've done America, Europe, and the Middle East. I'm just about to start with India. So I think India and China are gonna be quite a lot. Um, it's really not great because these are metro areas. There's a lot of places which I'd expect to be on here, which aren't, and vice versa. But that's, that's no problem. That'll be the same case for everyone. Okay, back to it. Okay, back one more time. Uh, so I've done a quick go around Asia, including India and China. And now I'm just gonna start on Africa. We're at 115, so I don't feel too bad about this. I don't feel like the average will be much more than about 70%. So I think if we can nail off about 30 cities in Africa, then we should be good. But let's see. Right, okay, uh, I've done 136 out of 200, which is equivalent of, what, just under 70%. Let's try and get to 70. Um, I think that should be close enough to um, do a good score. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about India or China yet, really. Uh, feel exhausted. This is a mental, uh, mental exercise, man. It's like a sport. Uh, come on. Surely I can pull up four more. Yeah, maybe not actually. I can't remember which ones I've already typed and which ones I haven't. I've only done two in Russia. Surely there's more. No, I'm going to risk it. I don't think anyone's going to... I don't think the average is going to be higher, but let's see. Okay, the average score was 48, so I could have got away with... um. 99 or so. I missed Mumbai, okay. I missed Cairo. I missed Tianjin, Nagoya, Xiamen, okay. I missed some obvious ones. I forgot to do Vietnam. That's annoying. I didn't do Taipei, but the goal was to just get through as many as I could as quickly as I could. Okay, uh, we're moving on to Capitals of the Americas with no repeating vowels. Uh, so let's try and do that. Um, Okay, four minutes. So, I mean, probably the best thing to do is just to... Because my brain is not going to be able to function to a point of um, trying to remember which ones do and don't have them. So, just spam as many as we can. We do have them in alphabetical order as well, which is fantastic. Uh, maybe we will we'll do them like down here. Start at the bottom. Gosh, my mind is still kind of messed up from the last one. <laughs> Um, I've recorded two other videos today as well, so excuse me if I feel a little bit tired. Uh, Lima will be there, right? And Quito should be here as well. Nope, okay. Uh, Caracas won't be. 
uh, Bogota won't be, Paramaribo won't be, Georgetown possibly. No, uh, Belmopan, Managua, Managua, Igalpa, no, Guatemala City, no, San Salvador, no, Kingston, Kingstown, Port of Spain, that might be a little bit, oh it is because it doubles the O, um, Castries, uh, this might be one where I need to um, get as many as I can, huh? Havana, Port Al Prince? Surely not. Oh, it's there, okay. Uh, it's got one of every vowel, just not doubled. Okay, and the other ones will be... No, not Santo Domingo. St. George's, that's one, right? St. George's, no. Okay, um, St. John's. Yes, perfect, and that should be enough. I'm not going to sit here for two minutes doing the other one, uh, which was Rosiel. Okay, didn't even think of that one. This game would be a lot less stressful if um, I could see the average beforehand. Okay, this is easy enough. One minute to do the Boroughs of New York. We we'll need to get a hundred for this one. Brooklyn, Manhattan, Staten Island, and the Bronx. Oh yeah, because um, average was eighty-seven, which is most people got at least four. Okay, let's move on. Can you name the countries that start with F? We have thirty seconds. Can I find out? <laughs> got a bit shook for a second there, but we got there in the end. Okay. Crossing the seas. When given two countries, can you name the sea you would cross from one to another? Okay, let's do this one. I'd say the average is probably around 60 here. So Haiti to Nicaragua would be the Caribbean Sea. Uh, Sudan to Saudi Arabia would be the Red Sea. India to the Maldives would be the Arabian Sea. Is it the Arabian Sea? No. Southwest from India. We'll come back to that. Romania to Georgia, that'd be the Black Sea. France to Israel would be the Mediterranean. And watch as I struggle to spell Mediterranean, as I always do. Yeah, there we go. Italy to Bosnia and Herzegovina would be the Adriatic. Philippines to Vietnam, that'd be the South China Sea, I believe. Uh, Myanmar to Indonesia, that would be the... Um, what is that sea called? Come back to that one. Sweden to Poland, that is the Baltic Sea. Japan to Russia would be the Sea of Japan, I think. Yep, perfect. I think this is the North China Sea. Or is it the West China Sea? Or the East China Sea? Or the Yellow Sea? Uh, perfect. Okay, Timor, this is the Timor Sea. Oman to India. This one might be the Arabian Sea. Yeah, perfect. Russia to Iran, that's the Caspian Sea. Italy to Greece, that is the Aegean, I believe. No, hold on. Because um, the Adriatic is at the top there. Okay, we'll come back to that. Papua New Guinea to Micronesia. This is the coal. No, it's not the coal sea. Philippine Sea, maybe? Ooh. Okay. Norway to Iceland, that's the north. No. Okay. Ireland to the UK is the Irish Sea. Philippines to Palau, I presume, is going to be the Philippine Sea. Yeah, perfect. And this is the Tasman Sea. Cool. 15 hour 20. That might be enough, but I just want to try and get a couple more just to be on the safe side. Let's see. This could be the Java Sea. No. Norway to Iceland. Like, is it the Norwegian Sea? It is. Okay, perfect. India to the Maldives. Is, the, is there an Andaman Sea? Yes, that's the Andaman Sea. Okay, this should be fine, I think. Uh, yeah, average was 50. Uh, Lakadive Sea, the Ionian Sea, and the Bismarck Sea. Okay, those were probably the hardest ones. Uh, right, we move on. 
Hang in the capital for each state that appears at the top. This is a minefield, which is where we need to be careful, because we could get blown up before we get there. Uh, it is forced order, and it's clickable. So we can skip. So New Jersey is Trenton. Minnesota is St. Paul. We do have four minutes. Uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, Montpellier, Vermont. Uh, Arizona is Phoenix. Maine is Augusta, right? Colorado is Denver. Pennsylvania is Harrisburg. Missouri is Jefferson City. Wisconsin is Madison. New York is Albany. Okay, I feel more confident now. Nevada is Carson City. If there's anything I'm not sure, I'm just going to skip. Um, North Dakota. See, I always get North Dakota and South Dakota confused. Um, Utah is Salt Lake City. Ohio is Columbus. North Carolina is Raleigh. Uh, Florida is Tallahassee. Connecticut is Hartford. California is Sacramento. Texas is Austin. Tennessee is Nashville. Rhode Island is Providence. Montana is Helena. Wyoming is Cheyenne. Oregon is Salem. New Hampshire. Come back to it. I can't think of it off the top of my head. This is Lansing. Washington is... What is Washington? Hold on. Uh, Olympia, right? Iowa is Des Moines. Arkansas is Little Rock. New Mexico is Santa Fe. Delaware is Dover. Kentucky is... Kentucky. Um... Come on. Oh, I can find it here anyway. Frankfort, right? Yeah, perfect. South Carolina, Mississippi, Louisiana is Baton Rouge, Massachusetts is Boston, Hawaii is Honolulu, South Dakota will come back to Alaska is Juneau, Kansas is not Kansas City, it is Opeka, Virginia is Richmond, Alabama is, come back to that because I get that in Mississippi confused, Maryland is, oh, there are decoys here, oh, that's interesting. Annapolis. Okay, West Virginia is. I get that confused with South Carolina. Idaho is Boise. Indiana is Indianapolis. Illinois is Springfield. North Dakota, I get confused. New Hampshire is. Concord, New Hampshire. South Carolina, is that Charleston or Columbia? Columbia, South Carolina, right? Yep, perfect. And it's Charleston, West Virginia. North Dakota, uh, we've got Alabama, is it Montgomery, Alabama? I think it is, right? And Jackson, Mississippi? Oh, and then it's Bismarck, North Dakota, and Pierre, South Dakota. Cool, okay, average was 35. What's next? Can you pick which three flags match the Griffin criteria? Okay, how are we looking? Which three flags have a circle on a background of one solid color? Bangladesh does, Japan does, Palau does. Which three flags are green, white, and orange only? Cote d'Ivoire is, Ireland is, and... Niger, is that right? Niger, right? Yeah, perfect. Which three flags are made entirely of one red and one white horizontal stripe? That'd be Monaco, Poland, and Indonesia. Which three flags have only two colors and a Nordic cross? Denmark, Finland, and Sweden. Which three flags are green and white? It'll be Pakistan, Nigeria, and Saudi Arabia. And one or more black stars will be the remaining ones. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Can you prove you want a robot by clicking only the squares that contain any portion of an African country starting with the letter A? Cool. Okay, it's not a minefield. Uh, so we can just let's do this. We've got oh, two minutes. Okay, Algeria. Is that, that's our jury, right? Perfect. Okay, Angola is going to be this one here, so presumably Angola. Oh, okay. I thought Angola was there. Okay, 195. Um, oh, yeah, because there's Kimbindi here as well. Okay. Well, the average score was 87, so we aced that one. We move on. I've lost track of what I have now. 
Can you name the nations that share a land border with these countries? Oh, we can. Let's start with Lesotho. That's South Africa. Sweden is going to be Finland and Norway. Mexico, USA, Belize, and Guatemala. Tajikistan. That'll be China. Uh, Afghanistan. Kyrgyzstan. Oh. Kyrgyzstan and maybe Uzbekistan or Turkmenistan. Uzbekistan. Perfect. Syria would be Turkey, Iraq, Saudi Arabia. No, not Saudi Arabia. Okay, interesting. Lebanon, Israel, and Palestine or Jordan. Jordan, I guess. Perfect. Chad, Libya, Sudan, South Sudan. Not South Sudan, C-A-R, Niger, Nigeria, and Algeria? That's with A, B, or C. Burkina Fast? No. Well, it shouldn't be A. Okay, we'll come back to it. Oh, Cameroon, maybe, yeah. Cool. Okay, Poland. Uh, Poland borders Russia, Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Slovakia, Czechia, and Germany, and Serbia borders Kosovo. It borders Romania, Bulgaria, Bosnia, and Herzegovina. Slovenia. No, it doesn't border Slovenia. Whoops. Uh, Croatia. North. Maybe it doesn't border North Macedonia, actually. It does, okay. Uh, Hungary. And. Yeah. All of them now. Um. Um, that'll be enough. I'm not going to sit here for two minutes trying to think what I missed. Montenegro. Okay, yeah, sure. Of course it does. They used to be the same country. Okay, the average was 81. We got 97. We move on. Can you name the countries whose lowest point is lower than 262 meters above sea level? Sure. Now, we do have the picture guides to help us. Uh, okay. Allow. Now, Ru. So this is whose highest point is lower than 262. So we're probably looking for islands mostly. So Tuvalu, Uabash, Micronesia, uh, Marshall Islands, Samoa, Fiji, they might be too big. Ponga, did I say Tuvalu? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's try Seychelles. No, uh, Mauritius, Comoros, Maldives for sure will be here, right? Uh, Monaco, I can see. What about Vatican? Is that going to count? It is going to count. It's there. Um, we have some gizzity looking countries, don't we? But before we get to those, let's try St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Barbados. Bahamas, uh, Grenada, Dominica, St. Kitts and Nevis, Igua and Barbuda, Singapore, perfect, Brunei, maybe? No. Trinidad and Tobago. Belize. Okay, what about like Lebanon? Cyprus. Malta is a chance. Yes, perfect. Andorra. No, that's in the Pyrenees, so that seems unlikely. Luxembourg. Liechtenstein again is in the Alps as well. Okay. Uh, so we're missing three, four, five actually. 
<laughs> it's a bit frustrating. I don't think this is going to be enough to get over the line. Let's try Gambia. Excellent. Cape Verde. Sao Tome. And Principe. Equatorial Guinea. Here we go. So, oh, what about Djibouti? That's a chance. No. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna make turn the brightness up a little bit so I can see. Paraguay. So I'm missing this one, this one, this one, and this one. What about like Estonia? Oh, Denmark, maybe? Yes, perfect. Denmark is there. It's probably some other smallish countries, isn't it? Okay, I think 13 out of 16 is probably going to be enough to pass. Yeah, the average was oh, Qatar and Bahrain. That makes perfect sense. And Guinea Bissau. Okay, that's fine. We move on. Again, still smarter than the average. Can you identify the landmark based on the review found on Google? Sure. Boring, you want to get off as soon as you get on, takes too long to get around. Totally lame, same, you have valuable vacation time and take a stroll through McDonald's and Western Sunset instead, they have free Wi Fi, okay? It's two as an insult to Namandala, so. Something in South Africa, probably, right? Robin Island, yeah, perfect. Some of the stones are broken into pieces, is that Stonehenge? Yep. Boring dry walk. I guess this is going to be Checkpoint Charlie. Expected to see lions and people fighting. Did not see this. This is the Coliseum. See, the thing is, like, some of these may very well be, like, just jokes, right? Like, no one's going to go in here and say they think it's Oprah's house, which is the Sydney Opera House. That's just ridiculous. I asked around the church and couldn't find how wide it was. Very disappointed how little the tour guides know. Did not recommend. It's a church, which is... I guess St. Basil's, maybe? Um, the green is very boring and bland. Utor was not like an elf. Didn't find out. Yeah, see, I mean, this is... Something which people have just done to troll, uh, to troll and end up trying to be on these. Um, what would that be? Somewhere in New York, I suppose, right? Empire State Building. Yeah, it should be Empire State. Okay. A big building the French built to attract tourists so they could steal their money. Michael Tower. Uh, all the descriptions were French, so I guess that's probably the Louvre. Uh, most horrible one, not well renovated temple I've seen. Come back to that. All the way from San Diego to eat some chicken pizza. I mean, this is probably chicken pizza. This is not a fantastic quiz. Too much fog. Fix it. Although I am getting triggered from my um, career spent in hospitality. Yeah, move Jesus. Okay. Oh, damn it. That's Christ the Redeemer. Pointy things in the middle of the desert. Too much sand. Slave buildings that built look all right. Be the pyramids. Takes way too long to get around. That'd be the London Eye. Western and Sunset. So it's Hollywood, right? Yeah. Boring dry walk. I mean, you can walk on Ankle Water, the Great Wall. Okay, St. Basil's is a church. Made for beauty, Taj Mahal. Yeah, perfect. The green is very boring and bland. Utor, I mean Burj Khalifa probably. Impul, Ankle Wat, too much fog. Dry Walk, Great Wall of China, green. Too much fog. Okay, let's say this is, yeah, okay, and that's probably that. Okay, I mean, that was a little bit of fun. Oh, Australian States, graph puzzle. We've done one of these before, and it was. 
it was fun when we did the world ones. We've got three minutes and it's Australia, so let's see what we can do. So we'll do Tasmania first, which is the island, which doesn't border anything. Uh, then we're going to do ACT, which only borders New South Wales. So that'll be there, and New South Wales is here. New South Wales borders Queensland and Victoria. And South Australia, I guess, right? We need to be a little bit careful here, actually. Okay, I'm going to say this is Victoria because that borders New South Wales on one other state, which would be South Australia, which means this is Queensland. That'll be Northern Territory and that'll be WA. Cool. Okay, 100%. Gosh. Hey, Blitz for geography. Okay, so this one we need to name uh, things that start with K. As you can see, I've played it once or twice before. My best score is 17, but these are all random, so... <laughs> Uh, okay, African country, Kenya, Peninsula, Kamchatka, European country. Ooh, what's that? Kosovo, uh, African capital, Kigali, world currency, Kruna, North American capital, Kingstown or Kingston, Japanese islands, Yushu, European capital, Oh, we'll come back to that. Himalayan Peak, uh, oh, A2. Okay. Uh, Asian capital, come back to that because I'm not thinking of it straight away. US state, oh, we have Kent and we'll have Kentucky. Uh, Asian city, world largest, Karachi. Hawaiian island, don't know that. Asian country, Kuwait. Language, Khmer. English county, US national park, uh, Oh no, I was thinking Keys, like Florida Keys, but come back to that. Oceanic Country, Kiribati, Seven Summits, Mount Kilimanjaro, cool. African City, world's 20 largest, uh, Kino. Uh, two? No, world's 20 largest though, huh? Uh, hmm. Okay, let's do an Asian capital, first of all. Um, come on, man, think, 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 think. Or European capital. Come on, I need to get at least one more, surely. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And an Asian capital. Great city. Cool. Uh, African city, I don't think I'm going to have time to get there, but that should be enough. Kinshasa, Kings Canyon, and Kowi. Okay, so we would have got there with that, regardless. Okay. How do I get to these famous landmarks? Can you pick the famous landmark from the directions on how to get there? Sure. From Salisbury, take A360 plus Druid's Lodge, that's Stonehenge, been there. Cross the Moskva River. On Bolshoi Morovetsky, in circle around to Vasilevsky Spusk. I'm guessing that's going to be like Red Square or the Kremlin. Uh, coast the East River on I 495, then take E35th up to Fifth Avenue. That should be Empire State Building. A lot of crossover with the quiz we just did, huh? From Simonstown, go to M4, then go on Circular Road plus Bluff Wisconsin Video Center. This should be the Ape of Good Hope. Perfect. National Highway 6. The showers to go north. This is probably going to be Angkor Wat. This looks like Blarney Castle because that looks Irish. Uh, this could be the pyramids. Or the Sphinx, yeah, right next to them. This is Indian, so that'll be Taj Mahal. Uh, ooh. Come back to that one. This is Rome, so this will be Colosseum. And this is American. So what American ones do we have here? Yeah, Rapid City. So that'll be Mount Rushmore. Uh, this is Greek, so I guess that's the Acropolis. Uh, this is Dome of the Rock, because that's Israeli. Uh, that's Spanish. This is French, so... Eiffel Tower, come back to that one, 
This is Rogers Centre, which is in Toronto, so it's the CN Tower. This is German, so it'll be Brandenburg Gate. Uh, okay. Japanese, so Mount Fuji. This is Sydney Opera House. And then we've got Machu Picchu, Cristo Redenta, and Alhambra. Okay, Inca, so it'll be Machu Picchu. I think this one is Portuguese, right? Yep, perfect, and that's Spanish. So we got there, 20 out of 20. Okay, I've been going for almost an hour now. Um, I've lost track of how many I'm up to. Can I make the top 10 strawberry producing states? Okay, this could be quite interesting and quite challenging because we only had two minutes. So let's jump into it. I'm looking for states with a warmish climate, uh, but not too warm, like not deserty. Um, try Georgia. Alabama, Mississippi, no, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, okay, perfect, uh, Virginia, Ohio, okay, Pennsylvania, excellent, uh, New Jersey, perhaps, New York, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Missouri, Gonna see Maine, Texas, no, Oklahoma, Utah, Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin. Okay, Wisconsin is there. Great, Michigan possibly as well, and maybe Minnesota in that case. Oh, I can remember how to spell Minnesota. Oh, I've actually forgotten. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> What about Massachusetts? What about West Virginia? Will I try Maryland? They maybe did. Um, Oregon. Okay, Oregon is there. But uh, Washington then maybe? Okay, we got there. The average was 73, so... It wasn't too bad. Can I name the largest US cities in 1990? Guys, I've been going for 59 minutes now. Uh, I have this many correct. <laughs> um, I think it's probably about 20 uh, off the top of my head. This one I will do, but it's going to be next video. So stay tuned for part two, I suppose. And thank you for watching. I need to check my phone. I need to um, have a drink of water and maybe go to bed, actually, to be honest. Kakitiano. See you next time. Bye.